Hello. Hi. I'm Alicia. I'm Marissa. And this is Bookends Knits, a podcast for knitting, reading, and general nerdery. You did it right this time. Let's high five. We did yeah, bro. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, as you can see, we are a little bit, uh, I guess we're a little bit more visible this week. I, think, I hope so. I mean, like, blanket-wise. Oh, the bleat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We're sitting a little further back. Apparently, I'm a leaner. <laughs> I told you. Lean. I've always told you you're a leaner. Lean. You... <laughs> Summer's like, you just need more pillows. Yeah. So I can lean against my pillows and not other things. I wonder if they make a thing for that. What, leaning? No. <laughs> Well, I wish I could get you a back brace that would make you sit up straight, because you never do that either. I do sit up straight, when it matters. Never. Anyway, so I'm back at work, full time again. It's been a rough week. Yes, it's our first week back at school. And that hit us all like a ton of bricks. We're like, this is exhausting. Mine was, uh... It was my last full week with my current team. Before you move to your promotion. Before I move to my new team. <laughs> so we're drinking delicious tea this week. Yeah. It's cream tea from Adiago. Adiago? Dot com. Mmm. It's so good. You can mix your own. You you can. I've made a bunch. We're gonna talk about those when we do our Raven play. Uh, read along. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna be drinking all of those. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah so it's been a rough week for everybody involved oh wait it's been a strenuous week yeah it's not really rough it's been strenuous yeah I guess so hang on one second there we go and we're back sorry I needed to adjust the color on my screen so I could see how bright we actually are I'm still really tan. it still films the same I'm so tan you are very tan I wonder why. Uh, my vacation. Oh, that was months ago. No, oh, was it? There hasn't been a lot of knitting happening over here. No. I lost my knitting mojo. I did too. I don't know why. Well, I know why I lost mine. Friggin' flown over here. Uh, that one's gonna be frogged. It'll be okay. Yeah, we made the executive decision to frog it because I'm not doing it again. Not. I reserve the right to give up on that one. I'll come back to it another time. In another yarn. Yeah. I think I want it in black. Maybe not black. Maybe do it in navy. No, I wear more black. Oh, okay. Anyway. So yeah, not a lot of knitting. I had to cast on a lot of things to get my mojo back. Did you cast uh, everything on? Uh, every, I, this has been on my needles for a little while. Okay. <laughs> but um, I did cast off a sock. Oh, goody! Mom socks. Both pair. Both the Just, whole pair. I said a sock. The first one or the second one? The first one. Mm. Have I put in the heel yet? No, but I'm gonna do that when I cast off the second one. Can you do that one time? Mm -hmm. mm. And if you're curious, Ugo's right here. You can't really see him. It's okay. He's under the blanket. He's. Can't, he hasn't been he hasn't been doing well with her back at with school. me back at work. And then I came over and he's just like, Andy, let me tell you all my woes." Yeah, he did talk for quite a while. He did. He's, he's a, a talker. He's a very vocal animal. More vocal than I am. He does all the talking for both of us. Sounds about the same. He's, he's a big chicken though. He's a big coward. <laughs> it's okay. I like him. I like him. He's a coward. It's okay. Yeah. So there hasn't been a lot of knitting over here. We did, I did, get to meet the wonderful Tammy. Um, Exum. Exum, yes, that's a, that's a cool last name. Is it a real last name? I don't know. It's cool, though. I like it. I she was, it. She, it, <laughs> she and her mother-in-law were wonderfully sweet, and, oh my gosh, we sat for at least an hour and a half and talked, and it was great. We had dinner together. I was trapped at school. She was trapped in the rain. <laughs> there were flash flood warnings everywhere. Yeah, your area did flood a little bit, didn't it? It did. I'm so upset. I'm so 
so upset. And I was reading the traffic reports, and I was like, no way I'd get there. No, they, yeah, no. It, no way. I really wanted to meet you, Tammy. Yeah. But, no, I got to meet her, and it was so much fun. Um, so, yeah, that was great. That was two weeks ago. I think so. Yeah, two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. But it was like a week and a half ago. Yeah, something like that. It was like on a Wednesday. Cause it was it was like a Wednesday or a Thursday. Yeah. No, it was great, and we had so much fun. And she did. Or was it Tuesday? Oh, I think it. Oh, it was like a week and a half ago. It was during the week. It was during the week. Yeah. It was so much fun, and they are such sweet people, and they donated school supplies. She cried. I did. A lot. It did. Like I told her over the phone and then I sent her a picture and she cried again. It was so sweet. (laughs) Like she can't even I can't handle it. Anyway, so thank you so much, Tammy and your mother in law. You guys were amazing. You guys Um, are amazing. Are amazing and you're so sweet and I know I'm really socially awkward. <laughs> I feel like I was really good. I, I generally don't meet new people by myself, so I was feeling real socially awkward, but you guys were so nice, and it felt like I had known you guys forever. So, yeah. I didn't get to, so I can't wait to actually meet these. Yeah, Yarn Curl's coming, Tammy. <gasps> so we'll so have to exciting. meet up in, like, one of the really cute... We should totally meet up in Comfort, because that's where <gasps> my... At the Tinsmith? At the Tinsmith, and then get lunch. Y'all, yes, it's a plan. Anyway, so <laughs> there hasn't been a lot of knitterly things. There's been a lot of like, um, there hasn't even been a lot of reading over here. School starting. Speak for yourself. I'm reading Jane Eyre Hardcore. I finished it and now I have to reread it for annotations for my children. I don't know why they chose that for the summer project. I was me. Anyway. It's not bad though. It's not that bad. I love Mr. Rochester. I like that he's a jerk. So romantic. <sighs> he's not like the abusive weird jerk so that people write about nowadays. Oh, like the ones that literally stalk you and come into your bedroom at night while you're sleeping? Watch you sleep. You know who you are. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> he's like the he's like the mean jerk that makes lotion for Bay and makes Epi Pins for his bros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in case, he's that kind of jerk. Heart of gold. Like we're talking about a different character right now. Anyway, back to this. Back to this. back to this. Well, so, speak to the knitting. I have an acquisition. From one of my yarn clubs. This is why I signed up for yarn clubs. I knew that one day I would stop buying during the week and it would stop coming to me. So it finally ca- it came. We're on a, what's it called? A buying hiatus? Yeah. Because yarn crawls coming and stitches. I think we're going to still try and make it to stitches. We can still make it to stitches. It man. might just be like a day trip. Yeah, it's totally gonna be. I'm it's like we get there on Friday. I'm not taking off work for it. Oh no, we'll get there Friday night Where and we love it. Dallas. Dallas. It's in the Irving Center, though, which is like 10 minutes outside of Dallas. Are we staying with... Uh-huh. Okay. We'll stay like one night, and then we'll... Go back the same day. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Because we're just going to the marketplace. Yeah, we're not going to spend all day there. We could. We could get lunch and stuff. But we can just... get lunch and be gone by... If it opens by like 10. Like it opens by 10, depending on how big it is, because look, like, the map looked big. It should open by 10. I think they're going to open by 10. Anyway... We'll plan this out. Plan I want to go. Out. If you want to, like, if you're in Austin and you want to go, maybe we can carpool. Actually, no, we're going to sleep over at a friend's house. Maybe we can meet up. Yeah, we can meet up and have lunch. We should meet up and have lunch, because I'm all for lunching. We're all about lunch. All about lunch. I'm lying. I really hope they have some Cumbria. I think Cumbria is good. I think, uh... The fiber company? Uh-huh. My white horse. And I know it's not hard to get a hold of. I was like, I could have bought you some, but you never picked up your phone. And you were on vacation. You were on, it was summer, and you could have picked up your phone. I couldn't. I couldn't. No. Yeah. Because I texted you like, hey, I'll call you back. You never called me back. 
So I didn't buy you the Isinger. I didn't buy you any of that because you didn't call me back. Do you know what I bought? That's okay. I saw it in person. I was like, mm, mm, I need a different color. Anyway. So, there was a lot of casting on. I didn't work on any of my other stuff because I just didn't feel it. Which is so... The flow oh. just made me mad, so I put it away. Yeah. I'm going to take it out today and cast on something else. Mm-hmm. So I really like that weight of yarn, and I like the yarn itself, but this pattern, mm -hmm. well, I'm not stupid, but this pattern is not, <laughs> not stupid, but this pattern. This pattern makes me feel stupid, and I don't have time for that right now. No one has time for that. Anyway, so let's get on to the knitting. It's been like 10 minutes of talking and no knitting. It's about yarn. This is true. Anyway, so you have an acquisition? I do, I have one. But do you want to wait for wallet burn and we do whips first? I don't have any wallet burn. The acquisition counts. Oh yes, then we'll wait, wait. No, we do acquisition, do we do wallet burn? We do whips. It's been so long. We watch you, watch me whip. Watch me whip then. And then, then we do the wallet burn and then we do the finished objects because I never have any. I don't have any this week. Praise. Now she feels good about it. So yeah, we do. What, wait, let's let's plan this out. Let's plan this out right now. Okay. So we did. We just did our regular knitting segment, and then we have Dyer's Corner. Mm -hmm. And do we have a podcast? We don't have a podcast this week because mo knitting mojo's been gone. So I was just like, I don't need to watch other people be productive, and I couldn't because I get home and I'm so tired. Literally, I called so her. I called her three times, and all she did was wax poetic about her calendar. Uh, I One was, day. I was working on it. Because I was trying to hash out some deets with her. Yeah, you were. You were. And she was just like, my calendar. I'm just like, this is why we don't have our uh, giveaway ready for you guys yet. Yeah, don't blame me for that. I was trying to hash out details. So all you could tell me was about your calendar. All I could think about <laughs> was my calendar. <laughs> it was, this is, I was this like, is the state I get into. I was just like, I'll call you back another day. <laughs> it's okay. We, we have... We have something. It will be posted later this afternoon on our joint Instagram, which is Bookends Knits, as well as in the Ravelry group, which I did see some new peeps in there. And there are some questions. We're going to answer them. They're questions. Yeah. You read those? Yeah, I did. You finally went in there? I've been in going in there all the time. Good. Can you answer some of the questions? Yeah, I'm going to bring them up, though, so I don't get them wrong. Oh, okay. All right. You should have <laughs> I turned it on silent too. You're so mean. Whatever. Anyway, so we're going to do... Buy me a t-shirt. Watch me whip. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. What's your whip? Maybe I should have gone first. <laughs> Is that your only one? I only have one. Hold this, please. Why don't you just put it down on your coffee table? Because I asked you to hold that. Since you took my phone. Anyway. You didn't even so notice. I know. I feel so bad. His name's Frankie. Um, this is Party on My Needles by Hohi Locatelli. You can't it is, tell. It, you can't tell you it because like I cast it on on Monday and I would start knitting and then I'd wake up with it in my hands and be like, I better put this down. And then I go back. That's to how sleep. she sleeps. I do. <laughs> Don't joke. I wake up funny like that. Do you? I wake up with my face in the pillow, like suffocating myself, and my hands curled like this, and my butt in the air. Oh, like a baby. Yeah. You sit like a baby. <laughs> a wee baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, this is the beginning. Woo! And this is Julie from Julie Rose Sews Yarn. It is. Sweet Spirit. Shy. Sweet Spirit. Her Sweet Spirit. Oh, yeah. No. Sorry. Sorry, Julie. <laughs> Out of it. Julie Rose shows us her Instagram account, which you should follow because she's adorable and I love her cats. I'm allergic, but I love them. They're so cute. They're so cute. Julie, why don't you name them Bucky and Steve? Don't do that. Sorry. Bucky and Coco. It's Bucky and Coco. I like Coco. And Bucky's my favorite, though. Bucky's cute. Anyway, so this is Julie. Uh, you want to say Julie Rose? So this is Sweet Sews. So sweet. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Oh. Sweet Sparrow Yarn. Oh, we're so bad. We're going to be fired. <laughs> we're going to be fired from Julie's friend list. Anyway, Sweet Sparrow Yarns, Nut Hatch Base, 
The yarn color is called Shy Violet. It's so pretty. I remember the, it was, this is like her first, this was the first time I, I got it. The first time it was released and I saw that picture and I was so thirsty all of a sudden for this yes. yarn. So and I was like, I need both of them. And now I have both of them and I was like, you're going to be a shawl. Because I knit a lot of shawls. And this is going to be for a friend. It's going through a rough time. Going through a very rough time right now. So I hope I'll get it done by Christmas. And hopefully she won't need it till after Christmas. You making the big one? Oh uh, yeah. How big is the big one? Huge. Awesome. But this is my. Oh, this is the only thing I've been working on. And I have a long way to go, but I'm not worried. Don't be worried. I'm never worried. That's it. I'm, I have a long way to go. I love you, Julie. We just never remember what your store is called because you're Julie Rose. I've always just thought of you as Julie Rose. And then I know you have Sweet Sparrow yarn. Did you ever see that movie about the sparrows? <gasps> that was such a good and movie. Where the little evil boy was turned into, into a, a sparrow, sparrow and he had to learn to like get along with other people. So he could sparrows. And there was a giant cat that was evil. And there was a cat that was evil and they had to work together. Oh, it was magical. Can you please hand me my cup of tea? There my whips. Go. Yes, go to your whips. Yours are far more interesting than mine. They, I have three. One's, <laughs> two of them are Newcastle. Three. <laughs> and uh, one's one I've had for a while. So I'll show you that one first. So this one, I haven't shown this on the podcast or taken any pictures or anything like that. This is the first time it's been shown in real life. So I didn't know what it was. Oh, yeah. Life, so. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? I was like, what's that? Anyway, this is my outline by uh, Beta Jessic of Hedgehog Fibers. She has some great patterns, guys. She is so good. I really want that one shawl that she made. Which one? The giant pink one? The hot pink one. But anyway, I can't get you my can't. hands on any mohair. You can't have mohair? I want it. No. I want that. I want jelly. <sighs> so pretty. Anyway, so there's this. It's very squinchy right now. Um, I'm using all of my... I'm the trying to... Mad Tosh Horde. Yeah. All the Mad Tosh. All the Mad Tosh Horde um, on top of some Malabrigo Horde that I've had for... Been hoarding. Hoarding for... She's like, I'm going to use it for treasures. 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 See me? And I realized I didn't get Malabrigo anywhere. <laughs> that used to not be the case. <laughs> mm. So, now I'm just like, I can use this like water. Liberally. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I'm just going to knit until I run out of yarn. But I have... Is there any rhyme or reason to your stripe? At this point, no. Awesome. Not about that life. Not trying to be anything I'm not. <laughs> just, you just can't wait till you Just wanting to change in. colors. You can't wait till you're weaving all those ends and stuff. I'm planning on having larger chunks. Mm -hmm. All those ends. They're not that bad. <laughs> If anything, I'll get one of my friends to do it. You gonna get Aro to do it? Hi, Aro. <laughs> you gonna weave in my ends, girl? Does she even know about this? Yeah. She follows us. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Anyway, so here's one. Um, it's been shoved to the bottom of my bag for a while. Um, the other one I cast on on Monday. No, Sunday night when I got home early from here. Oh, I'm in the middle of the row. <laughs> I messed up, so I have to tank back anyways. Oh, looks so pretty. Isn't it? I anyway. love that color so much. It's too, it's small. It doesn't even matter if you're in the middle of the row. I know. This is, it's going to be Flora from Making Magazine, issue one. I love it. Is this is Lace. Name? Tammy pretty much inspired me to try my hand at lace knitting because I am not a lace knitter. I'm not either. I made one Shetland lace triangle. But all that a year. This was it's so pretty. I don't know if you can really tell or see it. There you go. The that's, color is that's a favorite. lot better. Oh it's the color is eggplant by Bumble Birch, which I got in Portland. It's so pretty. I love it. It calls for a provisional cast on, but I couldn't be bothered. Oh no. You might as well just rip it out then. No. 
And You're going to sew it? I did one extra row. So I'm going to pick up there, or rip out the binding, and then graft it together. Oh, high five. I was like, brilliant. <laughs> Brian. Because I didn't have a crochet hook small enough to do this one. I do. I didn't live with you. I don't live with you. So I didn't I have do. a crochet hook small enough. And then my, um, anyway, so that's been, I made a mistake three or four rows back, so I have to take back there. It's actually not that bad. Oh, I'll put in a lifeline. And then, so much fun. Ah, that fun. this is fun. Uh, <laughs> this is it's fun knitting. My, yeah. Uh, this is my fun Once knitting. It's that ribbing though. <laughs> Christmas knitting. I'm getting a head start. It's only, it's going to be September in a couple of days, but that's beside the point. The point is I'm getting one of our dear friends Christmas knitting out of the way because she is a Doctor Who fan and this yarn is called the 12th Doctor and I got it for her in Portland and I've already showed her and she's like, I want a hat. So you're getting a hat. Getting a hat. And it's striped. I told you it would. I know, but I don't believe you. You shouldn't doubt me so much. But I've met you. So? Many people have met me. They don't doubt me. I doubt you so much. Because I am steadfast. So she said. Anyway, I tried it on. It's gonna fit. She was worried. I was just like, no, don't be worried. I'm well, worried. I'm just saying she has very slick hair. That's what I'm worried about. Her slick it's so soft. This is, um... Black Trillium Fibers. Pample? Marillion. Marion? Uh, Marillion? Marillion base. It's right there. Grab that thing. Marillion. Is it Marillion? Marillion. Marillion. Yep, Marillion base. Um, 12th Doctor. It's great. It's 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. And it's 400 and... Ooh. 425 yards. yards. And she gave me five drums. Great. Five drums. You're so sad. So yeah, it's 388 meters. Oh, wow. So yeah, I'll probably have enough to make her a pair of mitts on top of that. I'm hoping. I don't want to give up my five grams. Yeah, because I would make you give up your five grams. You could put little pom-poms on the cuff. Get out. Those be so cute. <laughs> That's just a lot of work. Anyway, so this is some fun brainless knitting. I started this yesterday. I'll finish it probably today. Well, we don't have anything else. Oh, we do have stuff left. We, yeah, you have to do some stuff. I'm just going to sit there and watch TV and knit. On my big screen. Because <laughs> that's what I do. My class I'm using Alicia's bowl. Because <laughs> she hasn't used it yet. I don't know why. Because I have to cut on the project that I want to use. No, I don't want to use it. You don't have to just keep it in the bowl. You can just wind it out. And... Yeah, I know, but I like putting like bigger projects in the bowl because this is small. I like how the bowl fits in my hands. Anyway, so that's you buy your own. I know. Okay. I'm looking for the right one though. I really, I would love this one. I it feels the pine one too. So nice. I might buy myself the pine one if I. It's so big, right? It's so. You know, the only beef I have with it is this little notchy thing. When it gets toward the end, it gets a little bit thinner, which I can see why. But for, like, bigger yarn, you're going to have to thread it through. I don't have a bone with that. It's not moving after that, though. That's what I'm that's saying. That's why I don't want to. That's why I want to do, like, a bigger project with that one anyway. This is true. Okay. So let's move on then to your acquisition. Acquisition. Number one, I got this really cute bag from Tammy. Mine's in the kitchen. It's so well made, guys. Mine's I'm in, in love. Kitchen. And it has sparkle! It's metallic. And it's beautiful. And, oh. So pretty, Tammy. And look. Two little zipper pulls that are removable. So I have the tree of, and this cute little tassel. Oh, I can't even. Anyway, so, cute little tree of life. I don't know if it'll focus probably not and then this cute little one right here this little beaded one and it has a removable strap a removable oh. strap and her tags dude and then also too yes that's her brand coming up anyway so oh it matches and they also has pockets so i'm not 
I'm a fan. <laughs> anyway, so my other acquisition. It's my own. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, We're yeah. doing good on just not buying yarn. We thing. are. Anyway, it's a club. She's already released the picture. So, um, this is a Stitch Together Studio. Their yarn, their color addict yarn club. It's called Abstract, and I love it. It's like sherbetty goodness. I want to eat this, right? It looks like food. Yeah. It's all it now. It's like food, and I love it. Mm. And I can't. I'm so hungry now. I just fed you. Mm. Anyway, it's so pretty. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, those are my only acquisitions. Um, Told you it was not allowed this week. Yeah. And then... <laughs> like, we, we, should, we should talk about our soon-to-be cast-ons. <laughs> Since we don't have a lot to show this week. Well, I don't know what I'm casting on. Oh, okay. That's off in the future. I'm going to be casting on the... Um, Iberian... Iberian Discovery Shell by Stephen West this week. I'm going to cast on a big project. Are you? Yes. Using Owl that was supposed to be for Flom, but she didn't want to cooperate. Flom didn't want to cooperate, or Owl didn't want to cooperate. Flom didn't want to cooperate. Owl's been great. Owl's a good friend. It's nice and rustic. Need to make something out of that. Winter's coming. It's already getting a little bit cooler. I know, it's cooled down a little bit. No, but by, by, by cooled down a little bit, it means it's not getting to 110 in the afternoon. Yeah, it's like 95 or something. It's guess. like 100. <laughs> and then it gets cooler at night. It was like 75 last night. It was great. And there was a really strong breeze, and it was a cool breeze. We might be in for a nice winter. We don't really have fall. <laughs> it just goes summer, winter. Actually, fall or winter is more like fall for other places, so that's basically it. Yeah, because our leaves don't really fall till like December. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of warm here. Just a little. Remember we had that 90 degree uh, Christmas? Oh yeah, it was like 90 degrees in January one year. We were already in short we were just like, don't live. That was, was the, it was that one March where I was walking we, with a bus. It and was like, like it was like, it started off like a 70, as like 80, no, like 80 degrees. And I was walking to the bus and all of a sudden it dropped to 55 and I was like, no one was prepared for that bus. I had to call you. I was like, "Bring me a jacket when you get to campus, K man." Oh, yeah, because I wear a jacket. Because she hadn't left yet. No, I didn't have a class till later in the day. I froze to death. She did. It was funny. So I brought her one jacket. I was like, "It's cold." Bundled up. <laughs> it's cold out. Oh, she really? brought me my light jacket. <laughs> I brought you a scarf too. You did. You were good. Froze. But then I had to go back home anyway. By the time I saw you, it was time for you to go home. Yeah. Which was good, because you had to walk home after that bus stop. Remember, oh, there was this one weird thing that happened where the bus, like, there was construction on our street, and the bus had to, like, stop, like, three stops back. And he was just like, I can do the alternate stop, but that's going to take another 30 minutes to get through this. And we're all just like, we'll get off here. So I just walked home. It was freezing outside. Wow. Was this Which when I was off campus? No. Was this I wasn't student teaching? I don't remember this. This was sophomore year. I did. I it might have been an accident, but all I remember is was a lot of collection orange right. cones. It was probably an accident. It was probably an accident. Anyway, so... Um, That's yeah. it for our knitting. That is it for our knitting. Do you want to do your dyer's corner? Yes. This week's Dyer's Corner is going to be Yarn Yarn Co. I could not, I had no chill yesterday because this is the yarn I'm using for my Iberian Peninsula. Uh, not Iberian Peninsula. Iberian Discovery, Discovery Shawl. Iberian Peninsula is a place. Do you know what, what it has on it? Portugal and Spain. Yes! Good yes! job! Yes! Geography! <laughs> So bad at it. I'm so bad at it. <laughs> anyway, I, could, I had no chill because I realized I had this in my stash and it would be you perfect. You had two balls of it. Two whole balls. The pattern itself calls for worsted, so I'm just like, I got two fingering. I'm going to make it big. Make it big. Loud and proud. Anyway, this is her colorway, not so boring gray. 
you can't really tell in the cake <laughs> but it has like flecks of brown and it has red in there as well and then it also has these like flecks of like purple in there as well you can tell like, it a little bit it's better a, it's essentially a semi-solid it's a semi-solid gray this is her um should have kept that label i do it's somewhere around here should have kept that label dark. it's her it's the cash merino nylon blend it's an mcn um it's so so good how many yards is it it's 435 of skein that's so many it's massive <laughs> You got two of those? I have two of these, so I have 870 skates. 870 yards. 70 skates. <laughs> 70 yards. And they're beautiful. And I'm debating on... Anyway, this one, you can see the brown a little bit better. Is it showing up? Yeah. There's, like, flecks of blue in here as well, and there's, like, flecks of purple. And, oh, it's pretty. And I forgot to bring my other ones... Because I'm selfish and I knew I would scan them. Mine are in a bag. But we love her. It's Di mm -hmm. uh, Diane from Yarn Yarn Co. She has a great Instagram. I think she's rebranding. Is she? Well, she finally got like new like business cards and they're really cute. They're really cute business cards because um, it says owner and mistress of the of mistress of the cauldron. I think. Oh. On there, and I'm just it. like I love it. Anyway, she's really, really um, sweet. She, her Instagram is great. It's full of color. Her colors are really good, too. Like, she does have a lot of really good colors. I love, like, I got a couple of her mini skeins not too well, not too long ago. Yeah. Electric Meadow is my jam. It's like this And color. Tabby. And Tabby. I have two skeins of Tabby. I have a lot on my Instagram. And the Pyrite one, yeah? Mm, yeah. Oh, Pyrite. That's pretty. That's on a gold sparkle base. That's so pretty. My mom was like, Marissa, these are my colors. And then I have one of her, one of a kind colorways and a worsted. Mm -hmm. And, oh, I have Orchid Thief and Lilac Spark. An introvert, don't you have introvert? No, that's Orchid, the one I have is Orchid Thief. Oh, okay. It looks similar, but there's more orange and introvert. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, no, we love her colors. Um, she's come out, like, her last update was a little while ago. Her One of the colors that I really wanted but couldn't. Not buy because I had so much yarn on the way. Was again a full skein of Electric uh, Meadow, which is like this bright green with flecks of like red and purple and orange. And orange. You don't like orange. Not an orange girl, but this was just speaking to me in so many ways. And then her matcha said, color shawl. <laughs> I thought it said shawl, and Alicia said no. When I thought you had too much yarn. I was like, but I need. You have too much yarn. Um, but then also her matcha colorway, which is like this beautiful, so green, green, and it's semi-solid and it's beautiful. I also have her, one of her BFL bases. It's one of her mega skeins. And that's right. You do like the shark? Shark skin. Okay. I was like, shark native. But someone else has a shark native. It's beautiful. It's no, like, like a shark gray. Native, it's I like think. a light gray blue with speckles of like deeper like cobalt and dark blues. It's so pretty. And it's a BFL blend. I'm not. I think it's a blend. So I think it might be 100 percent BFL. Hey. It's like 500 yards in there. It's a mega. It's one of her mega skeins. I don't know if she dyes those anymore. I have no idea. But it's beautiful, and I want to knit with it. I'm thinking. I'm trying to figure out a good color combination for that one, so I can make the Amabi. Amabi by Lisa Much. Her new shawl. One of her newer ones. Um, it takes three colors. Just do a blue, a gray, and then a bright color like an orange or something. That's what I was thinking, but I don't wear orange. I'm too yellow for orange. You could wear, you could get the tabby out. I know, that's why I'm trying to figure out a good color combo. Pretty. I'm trying to figure out a good color. I want to use that shark skin one and something, because I know that's going to be like... It's the main thing. color. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> obviously I really like her yarn. She is so great, and we will um, link her in our Instagram post, which we forgot to do for our last episode, so sorry if you guys didn't know. We did have an episode prior to this. We did. Where we reached 100 subscribers, so now we're at 125. So Can yeah. we please have some like, yay! Uh, I'll do it myself, uh, goddamn. Uh, yay! <laughs> Good job. Proud of you.
And I want an introduction song. Everyone has an introduction song. Not but everyone. Us. Everyone has an introduction song, but us. Not Julie e- has one. And who else? Don't you say the grocery girls? The grocery girls have one. They have a whole introduction thing. It's adorable. Who else? Uh, Legacy Knits does not. Legacy Knits. Yes, they do. No, they have some birds singing in the background. I'm gonna count no, they it. Don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They have. They have like an intro where they like fast forward really fast. Yes, that's adorable. Can we do something? We'll think about it. Uh, maybe I'll add that picture we took. Which one? With the moose. With red ears. Oh, okay. <laughs> like a moose. I haven't figured out this whole thing yet, guys, so. We need to have, like, Do you have any tricks? We know. We need to have Jess come in and brand us. We can have a label. Yeah. I want one. All right, tell Jess for Christmas. I will. Tell her, be like, I need you to brand this thing. We have an older sister. (laughs) Surprise, surprise. There's one more. She's not as... Homie. We're all very creative people. Are we? I don't think I'm very creative. I knit a lot. Yeah, you know, but I don't see things. By the way, Tammy had you pegged. It was hilarious. I love Tammy. <laughs> Get that off your face. No. Tammy's the one who said she's a leaner. That's why I have all these pools. She's also like let me guess. She's the one that tries to plan things but doesn't get all the details and I was like I can plan things. She can plan food related things. I can plan like food things. So that we can have a complete meal with all the courses. But I can plan if any it brunch. comes to like any brunch, any day, let's go. I love brunch. Brunch. I wrote my college essay on brunch. Did you? Yeah. Wow. Remember that one prompt? It was like, prompt B, like, what was the one thing that you firmly believed in? Oh, your and brunch. Was like, which was togetherness or something brunch. like that. Brunch. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. Miss Palmer thought it was hysterical. I'm a funny person. I'm not that funny. Yeah, I know. Her nails will never be clean. I don't know why. I think you just have deep nail beds and that we're just going to get you one of those things to carry around with you. So you spare time. Those scrubby things when I was a child. <sighs> You're like pig bed. No. <laughs> It's not like it's pig like bed. Filthy. Anyway. I'm just dark. So that is our dyer's corner. Now we're going to Podcaster's Corner. We don't have one this week. Yes, we do. I thought you were going to do your... No, we're going to do an Instagram. Oh, yeah. We're doing an Instagram we're this week. We're going to do an Instagram first off because, like... Again, Knitting Mojo was gone and I could not keep up with everyone, like, posting all their episodes the last two weeks. Yeah, and I haven't been able to keep up because of school. <laughs> like, my brain has been wrapped around, okay, I have to do this, this, and this before I move over to my new thing. Um... I'm literally, he's like, I'm putting you right here, which is right across from where I was. <laughs> and so Pam is like, I'm moving there. Because I'll be vacating that spot. So she's like, I'm going to be right in front of you. I was like, okay. Your people are weird. My people are very attached. Me and Nick have been like having a hard time like finding our mojo again. I know, it's hard for you guys. She moved all the way down the hallway. I'm going to be a Shannon again. All the way down the hallway. And so it's like, how are we going to be together? Because we were together every day last year. Anyway, so we're doing an Instagram. And it is going to be Jen Beeman. Jen Beeman. Jen Beeman. Jen Beeman. We're going to link her. She is, I think she's the creator of... Grain line. I'm gonna look it up. We're looking so, it up. Sorry. So it's Jen underscore Beeman, B E E. We will do the same. A N. Yeah, we'll the she's same. the owner and pattern maker for Grain for Grain Line Studio. She is amazing. Grain Line Studio. You need to go follow them. It is. They have fantastic patterns. There's so, she she knits. She sews. She's like the powerhouse, and she's so cool. She's her aesthetic so is cool. just her aesthetic, her sense of style, everything about. I want to know her. And she has a gray cat. And she okay. has a cat. And she has these mules, 
And a lot of her, these black mules in her picture, Alicia and, like, covets them. They're like my life right now, and I've been scouring the internet machine looking. The internet machine. Anyway, so we are firm believers in um, the, the craft the, powerhouse. The, the craft powerhouse that is Jen Beeman. Like, literally, she does everything, and she's amazing. And her aesthetic, and just like the clean layout of her, like, everything about her is just so cool. Yeah, she's just like, literally cool. Like, I want to sit and have coffee and talk to her about sewing. We do sew sometimes, by the way. Oh, Not yeah. a lot. I have a sewing machine I need to get out. We need to service those. I'm but yeah. Get mine taken down. It's just like, too. well, so... Check out her Instagram. I'm just she, holding it up. Again, it's amazing. Oh. Can't even tell. You can't even see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, kiddos. I'll try and put up show notes, guys. I know I've been really bad. Oh. Yeah. But anyway, so that's the person. That's our podcaster's corner, even though she's not technically a podcaster. I'm going to bring up the question that's on my phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now we're going on to the questions. Um, oh, we do have book reviews, but I guess we'll do them at the end. We always do book reviews at the end. That's right. Do you want to do the book review now? No, let's do this now. What's the question? Book review? Okay. My book review is not actually a book review. It's a podcast. A listening one. <laughs> An audio podcast. An audio podcast. There you go. And it is Welcome to Night Vale. If you guys it's haven't so heard, good. So good. If you guys have not heard of it before, it's basically the most, it's creepy, weird, funny satirical it's good like there's something for everyone in it there's romance kind of <laughs> there's 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 conspiracy the things. narrator he's so right. on point cecil baldwin yeah. is that his real name that's his real name cecil oh, palmer is the narrator of the local radio show um he's narrated by cecil baldwin who is an epic voice actor like fantastic I, where has he been my whole life i don't know but whew. like he should be oh man he's so good anyway so he lives all right so the premise of the whole thing is it's a small desert town and weird stuff happens like they but have it's totally normal but it's totally normal there um so like the pta is attacked by velociraptors or <laughs> something like that. And like, Desert Bluffs is their arch enemy. And Desert Bluffs is their arch enemy. And Desert... Oh, Desert Bluffs is creepy. <laughs> and then they all have to fight their doubles and that kind of deal. And it's great. It's, it's really good, actually. Like... <sighs> one of the season finales was just like... Didn't know okay. <laughs> didn't know what was going to happen. Didn't know. Like, and then they have a book now. It's fantastic. And it the weather is. is like a new Oh, the song. weather is like, it's a, it's a, it's like an indie pop, it's like indie music every single time. So like they say, and now the weather, and it's like always new, and it's always like, it's not always good, <laughs> but it's always entertaining, and it's always like, interesting, like when they had like German rappers. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very entertaining oh, show. And then, you gotta you gotta stick with it though, because like at the beginning, like I was I started listening to it and I was you, like, if you're not like it, if you're not automatically into that type of deal, and I promise you, it's it's totally worth it. It's satirical and it talks about um, the cloaked figures and how everyone should enjoy the dog park but not go into the dog park. Um, so like. If you see figures in the dog park, do not approach them. Exactly. It's great. It's so good. It's so great. I All don't right. have enough good things to say. It's, there's so many good things to say about it. It's mm. so good. Go on. <laughs> My book review is Wonder Boy. And I think I've mentioned it before. You have. You mentioned it in passing, I think. It's so good. You sure you didn't review that last time? I'm not pretty sure. No, you did a different one of his. I love him. No sex, Michael Chalda. I love him. <laughs> He's pretty. Like the author himself is pretty. I think he was in a cat bad back in the day. He looks familiar. I think he was in a cat bad like in the nineties. But anyway, Wonder Boy is by Michael Chalda. It's fantastic. What's it about? She keeps telling me it. Let me wrap the other. I'm gonna listen. <laughs> okay, so it's about a creative writing professor and his student. 
basically. And he's been working on this book for years. And his editor comes into town because it's a big like thing that they do every year with editors and writers to get exposure for their students and stuff. And he's been working on this like huge manuscript, like thousands of pages or hundreds of pages. And he's just all like, you just gotta read it. And the, only the first like 150 pages are any good. The rest of it, he just got so wrapped up. But anyway, he has a like a student and he wants to be a writer and he's like, but he's so, he's young and inexperienced and all of his plots are kind of basic and have been used and he's very into like old movies and Marilyn Monroe and it's like this crazy huge adventure that they go on and during the book the main character's wife leaves him but he still goes to Seder dinner at her family's and that's kind of weird because they love him oh okay but yeah Ugh. and it's, it's about the, in like another character is like the car and like you the, like character where you like books where cars are actually characters I feel like it's very essential because that's the vehicle of your of your exodus. Yep. And like another big thing is like backpacks. As there are some of this this is major themes. Like he, he has, loves oh, backpacks. Most he keys. likes the idea of travel. He, it's like yeah, it's like they're always on like some kind of journey. Like they're all like, in his books, they're always getting in or out of cars or in and out or in off on off buses and things like that. And that. And, like, the main character or a character always has, like, a backpack and they leave it behind for, like, at least a few minutes. And the whole thing of going back for the backpack. You know, uh, you, you, you went into teacher mode and no one, it made no sense. I love it. Anyway, anyway so it's a good book. If she so recommends. It's set in Pittsburgh. We know people there. We know people there. But he writes a lot about Pittsburgh. Like, his... One of his, like, but like, I think he got the Pulitzer Prize. Uh, the Mysteries of Pittsburgh. Fantastic. Um, uh, Another fantastic book. Oh. He's a great writer. I love it. I, I, I read The Final Solution by him. Was not impressed. But you that's me. this. Stop moving over. All right, so I'm we're going gonna, to reread What's the question? Here. I have a couple. Like, well, we what, have questions. What questions? We have enough time to do questions. We always have time. All right, so this question is from Della Three. Hi, hello Della. And I love that name. It's like, where do you knit at work? Traveling? Do you have a favorite place to knit? Why? Oh. <laughs> okay, let's start. So, no, no, no. So we'll start with this first round. Where do you knit at oh. work? Traveling? Do you have a favorite place to knit? My favorite place to knit is literally like at work before the kids come in in the morning. Is that your, like, moment? That's, like, my thing. Like, if you look at my Inst like, at my personal Instagram, there's, like, pictures of, like, my feet on a desk, and that's my workspace. So I finish my socks, and then I literally put them on and put my feet up there. So, <laughs> my favorite place. I knit everywhere I can. I always have something in my bag, except for recently where I had no mojo. Um, Same. Right? Um, it's, like, this first couple weeks of upheaval. I don't, I can't grasp anything else but my own inner turmoil like this week I drew the tower when I was doing my reading <laughs> I was just like I feel it I um, kept pulling temperance mom pulled the sun all week just temperance just like temperance temperance I was like I get it I'm finally out of uh pulling cups though oh that's good I know out of your emotional turmoil I am I, fi I got the tower though I was like great <laughs> well, anyway, you already knew the change was coming I already knew that so I was just like thanks I feel it already. Anyway, so um, my favorite place to knit is everywhere. I knit, I, like when I come home, when I'm at work, I have a specific project I knit at work. Because I'm on the phone, I'm talking to people. That's probably going to have to stop soon. Um, yeah, I'm talking to people about normal stuff that I usually do, and I'm just going. It's usually a sock. Um, and I set it in my desk drawer. I just have an empty drawer where I put my stuff in. Um, at home, I knit near a window. Yeah. Like, podcast on. I, I always knit on a bed near a window. That's just what I do. I like windows. 
I keep my I like windows popping closed. Up and people watching. I like popping up and people watching. I keep my windows closed, but I'm easily distracted. She is. And my 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 apartment gets direct sunlight like ninety percent of the day. Yeah. Which I personally love. She I hates. hates. Um, I hate it. I'm that nice. person where like, I never see sunlight and I want to see it here. I don't have a window close to my desk, so, yeah. My room, my classroom has windows. I know, that's why I'm really my jealous. House is full of windows. Huge windows. That's like, what my main thing. It's just two huge windows. It was all like, for our apartment hunting, I'm looking for windows in all the bedrooms. Or at least the bedroom I'm going to have. And I'm in, looking for blinds. She's, she just wants to come with blind. That's all she cares about at this point. Anyway, next question. That was a good one. There's still more for this one. Oh. All right. Why are you sitting on a bed to podcast? <laughs> Tammy has this, this too. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, Della, oh. like this one. Okay. So this came from Della's daughter. <laughs> who watches with her. <laughs> anyway. Oh. So Tammy asked this. Why so are you it's the biggest. Play, it's like has the most room in my house. Like my apartment's cut. My apartment's spacious, but it has like my bedroom has like the best light. And since like Puppers likes to sleep, <laughs> the dog likes to sleep, and, and he laughs. won't, and he doesn't like to. He, he doesn't like he, to be alone. He doesn't like to be alone, especially when I'm home and he knows I'm home. He's awful. Oh, he's bad. Like I have he to cry. Like I have to carry him. He's a oh. Velcro dog. He is. He just wants he, to be, like, on you. Like, he won't even walk. He'll walk up to you enough where he can, like, try and climb your body. Yeah. And that's all the walking he wants to do when you're home. Yeah. Seriously. <sighs> we he tried. Like, he doesn't like to walk in the apartment. He doesn't like to feel a carpet. He doesn't like carpet. We, we've gotten over grass, though. We've Yeah, we got over grass. We got over, like, the entryway, which is, like, that fake wood. Yeah. That yeah. linoleum He's wood. He's fine on, like... He's hard on hard. He's fine on hard surfaces. He does not he does like not carpet. Like carpet. He'd rather be carried. So he sleeps in the bed, and he's happy that way. And that's he's why. happy under his blankets. He's so we would love to do it in different locations. Yeah, maybe when we move. When we move, we're gonna have. We're gonna we're, try and get another room. And probably get a bigger couch. Yeah. So yeah. that way we can do it that way. But yeah, so that's why. That's why. Well, the, the first is like the dog. Second off, it's the lighting. And third Bro, off, it's the I biggest need room for my legs. biggest spot in my house. My couch is not big enough. It's just, it's like five and a half, six feet. It's still not big enough. We just, we have a lot of stuff. Yeah. That we like to be surrounded by, and also, the coffee table's not high enough. Yeah. And we don't have like a real camera yeah. set up yet. Yeah. Seriously, like this is my work. This is my work table. But the phone is sitting on with like a shoebox. We'll show you one day. And some and uh who's that? Alice, Alice in Wonderland, Wonderland book. and the two yarn balls behind it so we know where we're supposed to be on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> and it helps us center. But yeah. Okay, still from Della. What's the most colorful thing you've knit? Oof. I have a secret thing with neon. Yeah, but do you knit with it? Not yet. The most colorful thing I've knit Oh, I neon. <laughs> um, I have a hedgehog fiber sweater. That's right, you do. It's made in Boombox. Oh yeah, it's I a also pa, I I, it's a Paulina sweater from uh, home, Pam, Allen? Pam Allen's home book. Pam Allen's home book, great sweater. Um, I would do redo the short row shaping on the shoulders if I were to knit it again, which but I, I like probably it will. It's slouchy. Yeah, but you can do it so many different ways, which is what I learned after doing it. Cause I hate short. I would have garter stitched those. That would have been nice. I'll do that next time. I'm going to. Um, but yeah, so no, I have a sweater. It's on my Instagram. I hopefully I can put it here. Um, mm, if not, I even have anything in um, color on mine. You? Yeah, you have that one. Um, uh, the the. The things that I make for myself are neutral. Yeah. We're neutral people. Yeah, like the most colorful thing that I think I've knit has been like that one sweater, the Paulina. N was that color? That was glitter bomb from. We Maddie we Clark. had to rip it out. It was way too big. She was way she too big. overestimated her size that she needed. Uh, that one, that one, boom. Oh yeah, the yeah, glitter bomb. It's a, it's a, this is the be simple shawl. Yeah, it's a be simple shawl. In glitter bomb from the lemonade shop, and that's like neon pink and white with speckles, and it's, it's, it's uh, glitter. Selena. I got it on glitter, uh, oh, yeah, on glitter Selena base. base. 
So, the sparkle sock. Yeah. But yeah, that's the most colorful thing I've knit. I've knit a full sweater, so I'm I'm not afraid of color. I don't wear yeah. it a lot. Last question from Della. Do you ever knit for your dog? No. Okay, I've tried. I made him when I got, when I knew I was getting a puppy. I got, you make it him. seem like you gave birth to this puppy. Okay. It kind of was like that, though. The first day was hysterical. The first, oh my god. Yeah, so when I found out I was getting a puppy, or not when I found out, when I bought the puppy, oh, okay. this I, is had, not a I had to wait a month before he could come home. So during that month, I crocheted him a baby, a receiving blanket. And it's adorable. She also lined it. I lined it with Yogi like, still has his flannel. I know. It's so, he loves it. I know. He doesn't sleep without so it. so sweet. But yeah, so I, I crocheted, it's not sugar and cream, I crocheted a bunch of blue, white, and hexies, hexagons together. Because he's a boy. Because he's a boy. And then I got some cute flannel, and I sewed it to the back, and that was his receiving blanket. And it's, that walk, I brought it, it, it stays in the car. Like, since he, since he's outgrown it, he just stays in the car, and when we go to the vet, we use it. That's his comfort, small it's blanket. His comfort blanket. We, I brought it in so I could wash it and then it smelled like the house again, but yeah. Yeah. So she has knit stuff for Uga, but right now, and it, like, it's never gotten so cold. Well, he has a riding jacket. I call it his riding jacket. He has a riding jacket. It's like a, li- it's, it's blue fleece. He needs a smaller one. He hates it. Yeah. He hates it. It keeps him warm. It we keeps need to get him, him a, we warm. We need a sweater. He needs a sweater. He's just kind of a weird shape. Um, but yeah. yeah, so Ugo has had things made for him. He hates them. He, he loves his blanket, but he hates anything. He hates clothing, but in the, if it's cold, you need he to still him. hates it. <laughs> <laughs> you can put him in his onesies again. I know, he's so cute in his onesies. I love his onesies. Okay, so I'm going to say it wrong because I'm really bad with names. Ia Knits? Uh, and she's asking about a cursed child we love. <gasps> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. I, don't know. I, I don't know, man. I, I hear it. I read the ending. <laughs> yeah, you read the ending. I, I read the book. Sad. Sad. I hear it's really sad. I need to read all the. I need to reread all the. We're, Harry, re- we're re- rereading all the Harry Potter in our books, book club, and then we're gonna hit the last one. So when that happens, we'll definitely keep y'all posted. Yeah, because that's now part of the thing, and I'm just. It's in play format, and I just, I'm can't like, handle it's play. not Shakespeare, so I can't handle it. If it were Shakespeare, I understand, you know? Anyway, um, but yeah, so we'll keep you posted on that, because they're making me read it. Yes. And our last question from Fun Friend. Um, how much time do you get for knitting during the school year? Oh, man. <laughs> Weekends. I have week. Well, yeah, you I knit, do I knit ed- during school time too. Oh, that's right. You used to put it in your pocket. I used to, yeah, because I wear like a, I wear a cardigan every day, and it's like an oversized cardigan. cardigan, and it has like huge pockets. Let's so be I, honest, it's a man's cardigan. It's a man's cardigan. She bought it for cheap. I did. I got it for like thirty dollars. Anyway, so I get like my yarn, and I put it in my pocket, and I'll walk like while the kids are like reading, like I'll walk around and like as I'm monitoring them, I'll be knitting, or like just like. Throughout the day and like during in service days, but I get a lot of knitting time in. Like my downtime during like during lunch, I'll also be knitting if I don't have anything pressing. If I don't have anything pressing, I get a lot done. Mm-hmm. If I have stuff that I need to do, it's like do it at home. Um, <clears throat> so I make a point not to take my work home with me. You're doing a lot better, Barbara. I'm doing a lot better. My but first... your calendar thing, I wanted to punch you in the face. I'm done with it now. I just need to get the Hello. second. That's it, though. <laughs> That yeah, sounds so, so embarrassing. I've made whole sweaters at work. Yeah, like from start, like I can't, like from start to finish, I'll get the whole sweater done during like the six weeks. Mm-hmm. I do so. socks at work. Yeah, so I get a lot of knitting time in. You do not so much. Probably not so much this year because I have AP Lit this year, and I'll have more like actual essays to read. Right. Oh, <laughs> Tammy was like. I, I wanted to ask you what you actually do, because <laughs> apparently I seem really secretive about what I do, and she thought I worked for the government. I don't. I technically, 
How much do you do? I tech. I don't know. My my finger. Okay, so when you're a teacher, your fingerprints are on file with the FBI and all that to make sure you're not like you know a criminal. I don't know, and I have like. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's I don't understand. I work for an advertising company. Yeah. Your customer service, yeah. Okay, right now I, I, yeah, I'm part your of the production team. You're part of the production team, and now you're moving to I'm going quality to, and assurance? No. I'm building websites. Oh, now you're building the website. Hey. That's fine. You so didn't I don't tell me actually what you were doing. Oh. So when yeah. you're, like, you're like, I got a promotion. I was like, what? It's not really a promotion, it's more of a shift over. <laughs> Literally the team. We count line. it as a promotion. Any type not of what you're doing now. Yeah, I don't have to yeah. talk to customers anymore. That's exciting. I talk to children on a daily and it's just like <gasps> Right? It's just draining. But yeah, no, I work for an advertising company that's in Austin. Um it's actually an SEO SEM company. So in case y'all thought I worked for the government, I don't. That was my dream job though, work for the government. <laughs> I have a lot of kids who want to work for the government. Yeah, and then I was just like, ah, but the man. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Maybe one day. I think it's obvious what I do. I yeah. teach English. Yeah. At the high school level, I mean, I teach seniors. I teach all seniors this year, so I teach English. So you watch Happier? I'm not Happier. I teach English for and AP English Literature and Composition. Oh, by the way, guys, we grad. <laughs> in case you need it, Tammy was just like, "How old are you?" <laughs> Oh, yeah. We're young. Um, we're not, kind of. We're kind of young. I don't know. I feel like I'm we gra- We're just going to be like, we graduated. From college in 2014. 14. Yeah, we graduated college in 2014. Mm-hmm. Do any other questions? Let us know. Yeah. I like that thread. That was good. That was a good one. That was good, guys. Yeah, good. good job. Y'all have good questions. Fun friend and Ian Nitz. If you have any other questions, please feel free to put it in the thread, the Ask Away thread. I love your guys' questions. I'm sorry I don't actually like answer them in the thing because I feel like they'd be better. It's better to hear it actually from us. Yeah. And thank you all for your sweet comments about our banter. It's not scripted. I wish we could be scripted. I wish we could, like, have I wish a we were more organized. I do, too. I'm sorry. Oh, we have so many new friends. We have 36 members online. Oh, we have 36 now? Last I checked, we had 35. Guys, that's amazing. Anyway, so, let's talk briefly about our giveaway. We're going to do two yes. in the next upcoming weeks. Um, We should have the details posted latest tomorrow. We're going to have a Ravelry one. And a YouTube one. And a YouTube tube slash instagram one. it'll be on instagram it'll be on instagram there you on go. the at bookends knit yeah um you can enter both i don't i don't care i don't care if you win both prizes we're gonna Huzzah. we will do the drawing before we come on though because yeah because i can't i can't i'm stress. not focused we know I'm when not, you have your fo- I'm bed fine. <laughs> not focused <laughs> she's not good at that I'm not. um but yeah, so we'll be putting up those details. It's going to probably be, for both prizes, it's going to be a skein of yarn and probably a book. Because what we do. Um, but yeah, and then, uh, I don't, we're going to do it next week or in two weeks? We'll, do, we'll, just, we'll draw we'll, in two weeks. We'll draw in two weeks. If so we do we'll it, close it that Friday? Yeah, we'll close it uh you, close, you want to close both of them on the same time? Yeah. You could have just gone on the other screen. No, no, here, no, stop. Show me the calendar. Oh, I didn't know you had the yeah, calendar. Yeah, I have two calendars. All right, so. I need them both. Okay, yeah, so second. today's the, so, okay, so the next time we podcast, it won't be the, it'll be the 10th. So we're going to close it on the 9th of September. Yeah. Which is kind of nice. 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 Sorry. <laughs> I have speeches. All right, so we'll close it on the 9th of September. We'll draw them. We'll draw the winners um, right before we come on to podcast, either that Saturday or that Sunday. Yes. So the 10th or the 11th, we will podcast and you will know. Yes. We might even reach out to the winners before we podcast, depending. Yes. Um, but yeah. But I think it's more fun when you find out on the show. This is true. But we will be posting our little things up on our Instagram from now on. <laughs> yeah. 
drop we dropped the ball on that one, sorry. Yup. But we do <laughs> This is the sixth? Fifth? Fourth? Fifth episode? I have no idea. I have no idea how many we You think we've been doing this for a while. We don't. <laughs> I have no idea where we are. I don't either. We're so tired. Doing this journey with y'all. We're gonna go get coffee now. You wanna see my puppy before we go? Yeah. Let's show puppers. Anyway, this is Ugo. He's all curled up. Show, show, Ugo, say hi. Come say hi, people. He's really He's grumbly. So grouchy. Oof, buddy. Oh, hi. This is Ugo. He's tired. He's so tired. I woke you up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at that face. He's so done. <laughs> hey, Grumps. You gonna wake up and say hi to the people? He's like, no. He's like, what are people? No. Oh, yeah. anyway, if you haven't met, this is Ugo. I think he doesn't have a middle name. Ugo Bear. Oh, that's right. We have all of our all dogs. of our dogs are named Ugo. Our na middle name is Bear. <laughs> Bear. So we had Theodore Lawrence Bear Ford. We had. If you know that reference, I uh, called him Teddy. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Teddy Bear. <laughs> So we have Yogi Bear. And now we have to start referring to Mila Bear. Yeah, Mila Bear. Lola Bear. Lola's a cat. Sorry. That's Dad's cat, too. That's Dad's cat. But still Lola Bear. He calls Bear. her Lady Lola Bear. She's oh. cute. It's cute. She's so he cute. Lo no, she lost some weight because he's not letting her free feed. Oh, boy. She's mad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She wakes him up in the morning. <laughs> feed me. Feed me. Anyway. <laughs> And it was Yogi Ugo. Bear. Yogi Bear. Ugo oh, Bear. Yogi's my older sister's French bulldog who is evil as sin, but I love him. Oh, my baby. He's so oh, tired, God. buddy. Anyway, so this is our invisible co host. His name is not Juice. <laughs> <laughs> so many people are like, Did you name your dog Juice? No, I named him Ugo, which is the Italian form of Hugo. Because he's an Italian greyhound. She thought she was clever. No, I knew I wasn't being clever. I just thought it was a cute name. And I was like, Ugo! It took him forever to answer to us. Do you want to go back? Do you want to go back under? Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, but Anyway. That's Ugo. <laughs> so, yeah. He's super grouchy. That's our show today. We did good. We did. We did good. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, yeah. If you have any more questions, let uh, us know. Put it in thread. Comment. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing yeah. to our show. And we thanks got... for returning. And thanks, and thanks yeah. for the new peeps. We were thanks to the for beginning. coming back. I know. So weird. <laughs> anyway, thanks, guys, and we'll see you guys in two weeks. Two weeks. We might up our schedule. Probably not. I uh, know. I can't. I have nothing to show. Then I'll really. Then you'll see how much I don't have to show. Then you'll see how much I do finish and just forget to tell you about. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I'm a machine. <laughs> I was just like, girl, I can't keep up. I'm like, get on my level. Get on my level. And I've just kind of. I've been a thug the last couple of days at work, and they're all just like, what are you I've doing? been a thug since Monday. I know. I've been having to thug hard because some of these children don't know. Are you like, excuse me. <sighs> anyway thanks guys and we'll see you next time I'm out of tea